Hello, this is Sean again. It has been a while since CM Trace introduction video. Today I will be touching on software distribution troubleshooting methods in SCCM. Right? Um, in SCCM 2012, software distribution falls into two major categories. One will be your software distribution, which I will showing you today, and the other one will be software updates, which is the window patches. Now, in order for us to troubleshoot better, we must first understand what are the steps that are involved in deploying a software inside SCCM. So based on the workflow that has been mapped out over here, which you see on the screen over here, you could actually map all the steps with the respective log file that is found in your SSCM client. That will actually help you a lot in troubleshooting. Now, this is a generic software deployment end-to-end -end overview it might be slight difference in your environment but generally the steps here should be able to cover a software distribution workflow now um, as you can see here inside uh, this diagram you you would be able to see two clusters one will be site server workflow and the other one will be client machine workflow now today I'm showing you the workflow that will be the workflow a typical workflow that is for a software deployment. So it's from end to end. And based on this chart in our next video, I will actually map um, the respective log file to each of the actions over here. So um, right here, right now you can see this is a typical flow at the site server the site server which can be your primary server right um, this is uh, what you usually do um, when you do a software deployment in SSCM the administrator will usually create a software deployment right and you before even we do that you might want to be sure that the software package is in the DB right and um, thereafter, once the administra administrator has already created the, so the software deployment uh, advertisement, it will actually distribute the contents to all its available DPs inside the site server, right? And um, apart from apart after distribu distributing the contents to all the DPs, right? You we will actually um, do a scheduling on the advertisement and do a rollout of the software right so at the cluster of on the at the cluster at the client cluster site what you will see here is that once the site server has actually um, deployed uh, once the site server has actually um, sent out the advertisement uh, machine policy will start to kick in and the machine Depending on is it a package or an application, you will need to read different sets of uh, log files. For package, is more of like a transition for uh, SCCM two zero seven to transit over to two zero one two. The correct way of um, deploying a software right now from two zero one two onward, it should be application mode rather than package. So. Mm, after the the machine has received its um, advertisement over here, um, the machine will report to the DP based on the um, MP instructions, and uh, the machine will start to download all the required files into the CCM cache folder, and the installation will start. And once the installation will over is over, it will be recorded inside the respective uh, log files. So. Uh, tank. This is only the workflow. So, uh, yeah. So next, um, probably in a week or two, I'll I'll get I create another video that actually maps the respective log files, right, to the action over here. So, so it would be easier for you for admins to troubleshoot when they see oh which part 
where how where I got stuck. This is the required with um log file to read. It will be easier for them to troubleshoot. Right. So I thank you for watching this video. I hope it has helped you to understand uh what is a typical software deployment uh workflow for SSN two one two and um, in the next uh, video i'll be showcasing the log files that are involved thank you for watching again and feel free to visit my blog which is over here uh, cmxp.blogspot.sg for more details uh, actually the the log files and stuff like that has been uh, actually created uh, i've written it in my blog so uh yeah unless you want to watch the video uh, which will be i'll be uploading it in next few weeks time else in the meanwhile you might want to read the blog yeah to help you to type over all right thank you for watching again thank you and goodbye